Shalom. Welcome to this 17th shear on the debate between the Rishonim on Parshas Kitetze. And this is where, um, it's really 17th shear of Sefer Dvarim. This one happens to be in Kitetze. We're in Parach of Aleph, Pasig Gimel. We're going to look at a machlokas between Rashi and Ibn Ezra. Says the Pasig, uh, Parach, uh, this is Parach of Aleph, Pasig uh, Yud Gimel. He says, "Vasira simas shivya me'alav, v'yashva bebeischa uvachta savia, v'as ima yerach yamim, v'acharkein tavo alav uvalata v'haisa lecha lisha." What does the pasuk mean? She shall remove the garment of her captivity from upon herself, and she shall sit in your house, and she shall weep for her father and her mother for a full month. Thereafter, you can come to her and live with her, and she shall be a wife to you. Our Rishonim are going to be- debate as to exactly why she's crying. Right, why we make her sit in the corner and cry for an entire month. Uvachta Savia, she shall weep for her father. Kolkach Lama, Rashi says, 30 days, what, what are we making her do this for? Kedei Shitiyah, Bas Yisrael Smicha, so that the Jewish women will be ha- should be happy. Vizu Atseva, and this one, the defeated um, idolatrous woman, this one will be, will be, um, will be sad. Bas Yisrael Miskashesses, the uh, Jewish um, girl will be full of uh, of jewelry and she'll be adorning herself. And this one is slowly becoming more and more repulsive by the mourning process. That is Rashi's interpretation. Says the Ibn Ezra, we're going to skip in the Ibn Ezra to Divra al-Maschil b'yashva b'beischa uvachsa. She sits in her house and she cries. Says the Ibn Ezra, v'atam teisha b'beischa yarach yomim livchos. This means that she sits for literally an entire month and cries. Esavia v'yasimea. Right, the, her father and her mother in Karov. This crying is to get her not to, not to um, convert. But Ibn Ezra says, I don't believe that. He says, A person has to really take a He has to take a, 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 a um, he has to really think things through. Right, he has to give honor to his parents both when they are alive and when they pass on. What does it mean when they cry? But she has to mourn them just like the laws of the Jewish people. Because she will eventually convert. So the purpose, according to the Ibn Ezra, is not like Rashi says, to differentiate between the Jewish woman and a female captive, but rather what the idea here is to allow her to mourn just like Jewish people mourn over their parents when they pass on. Now, the real wisdom in this analysis is not going to stem just from the simple translation of the words. It's going to come from your analysis. And I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Use the sheet to help you.